Hi students, Mrs. Fagan here. So when you're asked to write a paragraph, uh, it will be much easier if you organize the information um, into a graphic organizer before you start. Um, it can be hard knowing what to write, but if you have a plan, uh, the paragraph can almost write itself. So here I have one type of graphic organizer. This is for persuasive or opinion writing. And it's divided into eight parts, well, nine parts. The topic, um, later eventually that's going to be your title, but for right now you just put um, what the topic is. And then you have a topic sentence, which is what the entire paragraph is going to be about. And we need at least three reasons. So whatever you're trying to convince your reader of, if you don't have three good reasons, you probably need to think of a different topic. So three reasons, and with each reason you need a little bit of explanation. So at least one more sentence um, pertaining to the reason to explain it further. And of course we always end with a concluding sentence. So, okay, I'm going to walk you through um, how to use this type of graphic organizer. Now remember, when you're using a graphical organizer, spelling, punctuation, and complete sentences, they don't really matter uh, yet, but they will matter uh, when you're rewriting it. So um, in this uh, opinion persuasive paragraph, I am going to try to convince my readers that a cat makes a better pet than a dog. Okay, so here goes. All right, my topic, remember this is just a, a working title. It's not my title yet. It's going to be Cats versus Dogs. I have a topic sentence, cats make better pets than dogs. And I came up with three reasons why I think cats make better pets. They're quieter, they can stay home alone, and cats bathe themselves. Okay, after I have my three reasons, I need to go back and explain, um, add one other uh, sentence of explanation to for the reader to better understand what I'm talking about in my reason. So I went and added an extra sentence. Under quieter, I wrote, uh, cats don't bark when the doorbell rings or it passers by on the street. Um, under this reason, my second reason, I wrote, cat owners can leave for two or three days and leave the cat alone with uh, extra food, water, and a litter box. And my last reason, a little bit more explanation, is that they lick cats uh, lick themselves clean and dogs require baths. All right, the very last sentence in a paragraph needs to be the concluding sentence, which wraps it up all together. And so let's remember to use our transitioning words, like in conclusion, all in all, therefore, to sum it up, any of our transition words would do. I wrote, all in all, cats require less attention from their humans, therefore they make better pets. So what this looks like when I have it all done Remember, we're, we're, we want to put our paper, we want to make our paper pleasing to the reader. And we have the heading in the upper right hand corner. Please let's respect the no man's land, which we call the margins on the left and the right hand side. The title is going to be underlined. And this is how I um, finished my paragraph using my graphic organizer and turning it into a paragraph. Let's see what I came up with. I changed the title uh, to Cats Over Dogs Anytime. Notice I indented my first se sentence in the paragraph. That's necessary too. Okay, I wrote, cats make better pets than dogs. First of all, they are quieter than dogs. Cats don't bark when the doorbell rings or when people pass by on the street. That's annoying. Secondly, cats can stay home alone. Cat owners can be gone for two or three days if they leave extra food, water, and a litter box for their feline pet. You most certainly can't do that with a dog. Thirdly, cats clean themselves. Dogs need humans to bathe them. I can't imagine that bathing a dog is a very easy thing to do. All in all, cats require less attention from their humans. Therefore, they make better pets. So. Students, did I convince you that cats make better pets than dogs? And well, if I did not convince you, perhaps you need to write a persuasive paragraph that will convince me otherwise and send it to me by email. I hope everybody is doing well. Please stay safe. Miss you. Bye.